Hi there, Paul Newsom here from Swim Smooth. I'm very happy today to be showing you the new Endless Pool controller. Now, if you're used to using an Endless Pool, you'll know that you've pretty, pretty much got this little blue remote control here where you turn it on and off and you speed up or slow down the Endless Pool accordingly. The Endless Pool has a 30 minute shut off. So if you want to just jump in and swim for 30 minutes at your desired speed, you can get on with that. Of course, if you want to change speed, Swimming in my pool here, it's around about 10 or 11 meters long, so around about 30 feet, let's say. In the past, what I would do is actually slip further back from the endless pool to actually slow down the effective pace that I'm swimming at. So if I want to do some interval training, if I'm sitting right in the correct zone, then I'll be swimming at the pace which the display clock here is actually showing me. However, if I want to back off the pace, I'll just slip a little bit further back. But let's say, for example, you want to do some really structured interval training where you don't need to actually change the speed on the endless pool or slip backwards and forwards. The endless pool will do that for you. So I'm very lucky that just recently, endless pools have actually sent me over their new automatic controller and it works really, really well. It's interfaced with a little app that you can use on your phone and you can either use the manual function or indeed you can set yourself a workout and that's exactly what I'm going to show you to do today how to create a workout that you can follow in the pool which will just seamlessly slip from one section to the next so the endless pool will speed up and slow down accordingly we're going to get Michelle in the pool in a moment to show you de and demonstrate to you exactly how easy and effective this actually is so just looking at the app itself we start off on the home page what you'll need to do is actually hook this up to your Wi-Fi so once you've installed the new controller, and it's quite a simple process, you'll probably need an electrician just to help you do the electric, uh, electric parts to that. But once you've installed it, using the app, we'll go into your Wi-Fi settings and hook it up to the endless pool controller. In my case, what that looks like is EP controller 90 dd 6 c So you'll see it pop up immediately. Connect to that and then go into the app which is called Fit at Home. But if you just search on your app store for endless pools, that'll pop up there. And the first option you've got is to just go to the manual control. And I'll show you how easy that is. Looking at our dis display here, I've actually got this pre-programmed in to a pace of one minute 14 per hundred. If I click play just now, the endless pool starts up right away. You can probably just make out on this display screen here, one minute 14 per hundred. Let's say I want to dial it down to 140 per hundred. You can see it's pretty quick to respond to that and you can probably hear with the sound of the audio there just changing as well. Now with the pause button I can turn it off. But of course Using it in this way is really quite similar to using the remote control in that you have to manually adjust it yourself. But where this gets really quite groovy is if you go into the workout section, create a new workout, let's call this Michelle's session, and we'll save that. What I love about this app is how intuitive it is. So once we've created the name, let's go to edit, and we've got a couple of options here. We can either start straight up, and you'll see that the default is for a pace of two minutes per 100 meters, or in this case, 100 yards, duration of uh, zero and distance zero. But let's add a section, shall we? Here we go. So by adding this and just clicking over the top, we can see very clearly how we can change that speed up or down very, very simply with this slider. Super intuitive. Let's say we want to go for 140 per 100 meters. Now let's click on duration. I'd like Michelle to swim at that speed for, let's say, three minutes. So it's a nice steady pace. Or you have the option of actually specifying the exact distance you'd like yourself or your swimmer to swim at. So two minutes 50 at 140 per 100, meter, uh, per 100 yards. Michelle would actually cover a distance there of 170 yards. And this is one of the things, the endless pool is great, but sometimes you just don't know how far you've actually swum. With this now, you can actually specify, I'd like to swim 500 yards, or I'd like to swim 400 meters, and you can do that straight away. So once we've created that, so we've got one minute 40 per 100 yards, for two minutes 50 
and for a distance of 170 yards there, we can create a new section. And on that next one, let's go, let's just make us swim a little bit faster on this one. So let's go to 135 and a slightly shorter duration. So let's just dial in one minute 20 and she'll cover a distance of 88 yard, uh, 84 yards during that section. And let's just add in one more section here. Let's take it back to 140 and we'll go for a duration of two minutes this time. There we go. Perfect. And she'll cover 121 yards during that section. Now, I can reorder that as well. So like I say, the interface here is super simple. The guys at Endless Pools have really thought out how to make this app super easy to use. So just using the toggle buttons on the right hand side here, we can move these sections up or down as we choose to do so, just by dragging and, uh, and drifting up and down there. Okay, now this is what will happen then. I'll press start. It loads a workout. It starts up very, very quickly indeed. If I'm the coach on the pool deck, I can see here that we've got a duration and that's counting down. Michelle now has one minute 50 left to swim. We can see on the clock here, we've got one minute 39 dialed in. That's the pace, of course. And when we actually see her swimming, we'll actually get to see the transition and you'll see how the endless pool takes care of that. Now, we've only dialed in a difference of five seconds per 100 yards, but Michelle will definitely be able to feel that in the pool and allow her to really feel like she's actually doing an interval training session. I'll just put that on pause for now. So I've been super impressed by the simplicity of this system, how easy it works, how the app works, and what I'm going to do to provide with the video here is a couple of training sessions that you might like to manually put into the endless pool app to take you through. One of the things that we deal with here at Swim Smooth is what we call CSS training, which is critical swim speed. And that's about the pace that you'd be able to sustain if you're doing a 1500 meter continuous swim. So for most people, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes, you might already have a bit of an idea about what pace you would swim at in your own endless pool, which would give you a challenging workout, but something that you could sustain for a reasonable length of time. That was probably going to be pretty close to your critical swim speed. Once you know that number, if you work just above or just below that pace, you can really start to make some great improvements, which if you choose to swim just purely in the endless pool, is going to help you here and your times will get faster. Or if you then take your training from the endless pool into a proper pool or even into the ocean, then you'll also see some great improvements there as well. So let's get on with it. Let's get Michelle in the pool and let's take a little look at how this works. Ready to rock and roll then, Michelle? I am. Perfect. Okay, we're going to get this all set up. We're going to press go and then you've got around about six minutes of continuous swimming where it'll get slightly quicker in towards the middle. All you need to do is just keep going with the pace and just adjust your uh, turnover with your arms, etc., accordingly. Okay, here we go. So we're starting off at a pace of 140 per 100 meters. Quite an easy pace for Michelle, this. Looking nice and smooth. So we can see here that Michelle's got around about 50 seconds, just coming down to 45 before the first transition. She's gonna get five seconds per 100 meters quicker here at that point. Okay, 10 seconds to our first transition. We can see from the timer here, look, five to go. Watch how the endless pool automatically changes this. There we go. Straight up to 135. You can just hear a slight increase in the speed from the endless pool itself. And back over to the pool. Michelle going well here now. So swimming just five seconds per 100 meters quicker, nothing too fancy. Her threshold pace would be down in the low 130, so this is just slightly slower than threshold pace for her still. But just great how automatic the new endless pool controller actually is. She hasn't needed to stop. 
We've just programmed in a set for her and she's just swimming it as best she can. Just coming up to the transition to slow back down again. Let's go and take a quick look at that. And there we go. Just slowed back down now to 140 per 100. 152 remaining of her workout. So cool. Really helps to revolutionize the way you're gonna be training with your endless pool going forwards. Set yourself a challenging program or even set yourself a program which features some drills at slower speeds and let the endless pool do all the work for you. Okay, Michelle's into the last 30 seconds of her workout now. Let's go and see how she felt. Just about ready for the endless pool to stop by itself. There we go. Automatic shut off. And how was that, Mish? Yeah, good. Cool. Good. Did you feel the difference in the uh, change of pace? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Just five seconds per 100 meters doesn't sound like a big difference, but when it's fairly close to your threshold pace, you can really start to notice that. Good work. Hope you enjoyed it.